In this lesson, I want to explain how to use class hierarchies and inheritance in Libretto. Let's load the information about persons we've collected so far. We start with introducing the classes of men and women as the subclasses of person. And These declarations mean that all women and men are persons. Let's distribute the concrete persons we know over these classes. Women are Anne and Mary. And uh, men are Paul and John. Let's check. Anne and Mary and John and Paul. Next is an example of multiple inheritance. We start with the definition of a brand new class, inhabitant. If to follow the Oxford Dictionary, an inhabitant is a person or an animal that lives in a particular place. Now, if you want to introduce the concept of a resident that is a person who lives in a particular place, we can define a resident as both a person and inhabitant. Let's do it. Person and inhabitant are mutually independent classes, whereas the class resident depends on them both. This is an example of multiple inheritance. Let's introduce a resident Jane. Note that while introducing Jane, we used properties of both superclasses of the class resident. Jane takes the name from the class person and the place from the class inhabitant. In Libretto, we also can explicitly make an object the member of several classes simultaneously. For instance, let's Tom be a man living in London. First, note that since resident and man are the subclasses of person, Jane and Tom are also persons. Jane and Tom are here. Also, we see that though both Jane and Tom possess the same properties, there is a significant difference between them. We see only Jane here. This is because we didn't declare explicitly that Tom is a resident and the system doesn't know about it. But we can fix the problem. And now, now Tom is among residents. Using libretto strings, we can get pretty printed version of data about the residents. This is the string of libretto with the parameters in curly brackets, here and here. A parameter can be any libretto's expression. 